there's none like you. Igwe, Igwe, only you are God. Only you are God. Over my life, over my family, over your church, only you are God.
You're a mighty God. You're a mighty God. Hey, la tobi ju. Hey, la tobi ju. You are the glorious God. Shield for 
your voice and sing with me. For now, oh Lord, you are the shield for me. The shield for me. You are my glory.
and is only you. See we meet only you. Sing only you. Sing only you a Everybody 
together again unto your name. Father, be that exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you have done, O Lord, already, even here. Thank you for what you are said to do. Thank you, Lord, because we are here to pray. We are here to commune with you. Father, every, every of our prayer tonight, Father, let there be speedy answers in the name of Jesus. Bless every one of us, our Father in the name of Jesus. Cause our victory to be resounding. Cause it to be complete in the name of Jesus. Victory on every side. We have not come, O oh Lord, to seek the face of man, but we've come to seek your face. And your word said, O oh Lord, you have not called for the children of Jacob to seek you in vain. Father, O oh Lord, I seeking you, O oh Lord, let there be resounding victory, O oh Lord, for every one of us in the name of Jesus. As we go further, Lord, Father, please go with us in the name of Jesus. Help us by yourself and take the glory, our God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are prayed. 
praise God. I don't know how many of you is excited to be here. Are you excited to be here? Please let's give it to God. We are clapping to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who is almighty, all powerful. Father, we are grateful to you. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, choir, and thank you for coming tonight. Please let's be seated. We will take a few charge, a few words just to charge us up before we go into our prayers. Praise God. I want to assure you that you've come to meet with God tonight and you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Praise God. It is a month of victory on all sides. And I just want to remind us very quickly, what is victory? What is victory? Victory is an art of defeating the enemy. It is an art of defeating the opponent in a battle, in a game, or in any competition at all. I'm sure we have quite a number of people here who will follow football, right? And then if you follow football, you will understand very well how sweet victory is, right? And then you will also understand that to be victorious, you have to be in tune with the winning side. Praise God. And it is very important tonight to say that we have the privilege to be on the winning side because we're on the side of God. Praise God. How do we find victory? That takes me to how do we find victory? We find victory by supporting the winning side. We are supporting the side of God, so we are on the victorious side. Praise God. And the source of our victory is God. We are in team God. Team God is the victorious team. Praise God. We are under the management of God. We are his special children. We present ourselves as fanatic to God. So we are fans of God. And what is much more defining is that we are riding on the victory that God has won for us. As a Christian, you are already on the victorious side. He has won the victory already for us. Praise God. No wonder Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 declared, he said, thanks to God. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our ultimate victory is attained through our faith in Jesus Christ. I want to believe that we are all here today with a convincing faith that we've come to meet God and God will hand to us victory. Praise God. And the victory will be asked in Jesus' name. How do we go about this our victory? We, one of the ways we go about the victory is to put to work those things that God has designed to give us victory. So those things, we call them applying the weapons of victory. Remember that he said that our weapon, the weapon of our victory are not carnal. They are mighty through God. They are mighty in God through the pulling down of the stronghold, casting down arguments and every high thing that exerts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Jesus Christ. So we'll be applying those weapons tonight. We just had a very fantastic session of worship. And I'm, I'm rest assured already that we are on the victorious side. We'll apply the weapon of thanksgiving. We'll apply the weapon of prayers. We'll apply all of those weapons that are available to us that will make us, cause us to receive our victory tonight in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I just want to cap, up, cap, it, cap this very short charge with these words. When should our victory begin? 
There are many persons who know what victory is. They know the source of victory. And then they miss the fine defining point of when should victory begin. Victory should begin like now. For everyone who is a child of God, you are already in the victorious journey. And then what you pray is that God, please give me more victory. I want more victory. And you can re readily connect with that. There are people who won, or there are clubs who won Champions League last year. Right? What are they playing for now? They are playing for more victory. So even if you are victorious, right, you need to pray that God should give you more victory. Praise God. Praise God. I like to read this Bible passage just to charge you up. And it's from Third John chapter 2. It says, The mind of God concerning you in terms of victory. And it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that that may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospered. So God wants you to prosper. God wants you to prosper not only in health, in every other thing. So he wants you to prosper in your body, in your spirit, in your soul. And he wants the prosperity to be continuous. Praise God. So God wants you to be victorious continually. Praise the Lord. So the key point as we cap this up is that after we surrender our lives to Jesus, he gave us a victorious package. So what we'll be doing today in our prayer is to open it up and begin to receive the package that is in the redemptive, um, uh, they will receive the gifts that are in the redemptive packages through our prayers. So I'd like us to just rise up. Let's rise to pray. Praise God. We are here to pray. Are we ready to pray? Praise God. Praise God. We are not, ex we are not allowed to be cold at this moment. We are allowed to be hot for Jesus. So I'd like us to open up our our, our voices. Let's just give it to him. Let's start by thanking God in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 27. God's word says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's raise a prayer of thanksgiving to our God. Let's thank him. Let's worship him just in your own way, in your own words. Thank the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the almighty God, our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer the one who goes with us to fight our battles, the one who goes with us to fight our battles, even against our enemies. Let's give God the glory. Let's give the God that is exceedingly, abundantly able to meet and exceed our expectation. Let's give him glory. Let's give him glory. Let's thank him even for his exceeding abundant abilities. Let's intentionally thank God for the victories of the past. We are here today not because we are so qualified, but because God gave us victory. That is why we are alive. That is why we are here. So let's thank him for the victories of the past. Father, we are grateful to you for the victories of the past. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for helping us, oh Lord. Through the many, many, many battles of life, the many challenges of life, we are alive, oh God, because, oh Lord, you caused us to be victorious. We thank you. We appreciate you. Let's thank God some more. Are we thanking God? We can't thank him enough, but just thank him some more. Tell him some sweet words. Father, oh God, you are the lover of our soul, our protector, protector our deliverer, our righteousness. Oh, Father, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all you do for us. Thank you for how you have kept us all through this past. Oh, Father, we are grateful to you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank him, thank him, thank him for the church. Father, we thank you for the church. Thank you for the church of Jesus Christ. Thank you for keeping your promise that you, that you, that you gave to us to say that the gate of hell shall not prevail against the church. Thank you because, oh Lord, you have kept your promise. You have kept your word even concerning the church. We are grateful to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our God. Thank you, thank you, our King. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are giving thanks. In Romans 8, 37, God's word says, 
No, in all these things, we are more than conqueror through him that loved us. So, there are many challenges that, that present themselves in life. One key thing that we take is that we are more than conquerors. Are you a more than conqueror? It's a question, and I'd like you to answer so that God and heaven will hear you. Are you more than a conqueror? Praise God. So we we'll thank God again for making us more than conquerors through him and his love towards us. Let's just say, Father, thank you. Thank you for making me more than a conqueror. Despite the challenges of life, Father, you have kept me. You have, you have oh God, help me. Pray the same prayer for yourself, for your neighbor, for everyone around. Pray for Goshen. Father, thank you. Thank you for making every one of us more than a conqueror. Thank you for helping us, O oh Lord. Despite the challenges that we go through on a daily basis, Father, you have helped us, you have kept us, you have redeemed us, you have helped us, O oh Lord, to this point, and you, O oh God, you are more than, more than able to help us to the very end. We thank you. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our God. Be that resulted. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are giving thanks. Let's progress with this assurance that should build up our faith the more. And the assurance is in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. I'll read quickly. It said, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly above all that we ask or think, according to what? To the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end. Amen. One of the things you take from this Bible passage is that he's able to do exceedingly, even beyond your asking, beyond your imagination. Right? You have come to me the one that is able to do all things. Everyone that is on earth is limited. Even the presidents of presidents are limited. But there's one who is not bound by the limitations of this world. He's the almighty God. He's the one that we've come to meet. So I want your faith to be built up. Ask him for something special. Ask him for something that you remember today for. There's this burden that you are carrying. Pour it to him. Give it to him. He said it in his word and he's committed to his word. So tell him, is there one special need that you have brought today? Be open to him. And say, Father, please glorify your name in our lives in the name of Jesus. Answer our prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, glorify your name in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we've come to meet you, to touch you with our prayers, Lord. Father, oh Lord, our faith is stirred up. Father, oh God, we are looking unto you that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above everything that we ask or imagine. Father, oh God, we are asking, oh Lord, as your church is praying tonight, as we are asking, oh Lord, that you give us victories on every side. Father, please answer us. Answer us speedily, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Give us a memorial, oh Lord, even for this service, that we will remember, oh Lord, all the days of our life, how you touched us, how you turned this around, how you delivered victory to us, oh Lord. And Father, we will give you all the glory at all times, in the name of Jesus. Cause our testimony to spring forth speedily, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. I'd like us to pray. We are here to pray. Praise God. As we go further, I'd like us to ask him for forgiveness for every act of unbelief. There are times we come to a gathering like this and God's word is going forth and then we do not catch the spirit of the word and the word just goes. So every of those acts of unbelief will ask God now for Forgiveness. Our anchor scripture for this prayer point is Jeremiah 31, verse 34. I'll read the end of it. And it says, Say the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquities. I will remember their sins no more. So an act of unbelief is a sin. It is something that 
you are struggling with that limit the power of God to be manifest in your life. So you ask God, Father, please forgive me. Every art of unbelief, every imagination of unbelief, every sacrifice of unbelief that I have presented to you, have mercy upon me, our Father. According to your word, O Lord, in Jeremiah, O God, 31, 34, you said, O Lord, you will forgive our acts of iniquity and you will remember our sins no more. Father, let this be a portion, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Forgive every act of unbelief that we've presented to you, our Father, and bloat it out completely with your precious blood. And Father, O Lord, let it be remembered no more in the name of Jesus. Do this for us, O our Father, and take the glory. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. Our next prayer point will be to invite the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Before we go for that, let's ask the Holy Spirit to help us by praying this prayer point. Let's say, fire of the Holy Spirit, put my heart of every unforgiveness, every pride, everything that will hinder my prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Spirit, purge me, purge me, purge me, purge my heart of every art of unbelief, every art of sin, everything that we all oh Lord, be a hindrance to my prayers coming to you tonight. Father, please, oh Lord, take it away. Fire of the Holy Spirit, take it away. Purge my heart, purge my spirit, purge my soul, purge my body from every act of, 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 of unrighteousness, every action, oh God, that will stop my prayer from coming to you tonight. Please take it away in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God and our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray. We will now go a step further by praying for the church. The church is you and I. We'll be praying for the church. Let's pray for the church of God and remembering Goshen Church in particular that God, we, we, that, that the church, through the victorious grace of God, that, that we will enter into a new realm of glory. And that realm will manifest in the name of Jesus. Let's pray and say, Father, through your victorious grace, Father, give us deliverance. Give us salvation. Give us, O oh Lord, an unhindered move of the Holy Spirit in our midst, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh God, let us be beneficiaries of prophetic declaration, O oh Lord, that has gone ahead of us. Father, O oh Lord, in this year, Father, in the month of April, our team is victory on every side. Cause us to experience victory in every battles of life. Father, give us victory. Everything that has challenged, O oh God, your, 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 your grace upon us, O oh Lord. Father, O oh Lord, let them be taken away by the power of God, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, give us victory. Victory. Give us give victory. Give us victory in Goshen. Give us give victory in Goshen province, in Goshen church, in every parishes under this province. Father, oh Lord, in the church at large, give every one of us victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. That same victorious grace will pray that it will give healing to everyone that is believing God for healing this period. That the victorious grace will manifest in the church. Bring healing. Victory over head challenges. Victory in battles of life. Let's just pray in those lines. Father, please, O oh Lord, your victorious grace. The grace of God. That that same grace, that same power that raised up Jesus from the, from the, from the dead. Let it dwell in us, O oh Lord. And if it dwells in us, it will strengthen our mortal bodies. Father, O oh God, it will deliver us from every spirit, every weight, everything every sin. Father, oh God, every sickness. Father, oh Lord, let that grace manifest in us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let it manifest, oh God, in every of our loved ones. I pray for the same grace, oh Lord, to manifest, oh Lord, in, oh Lord, my spouse, in my children, in everyone that is connected to you, our Father. Let this grace, oh Lord, manifest the grace of God for deliverance, the grace of God for healing, for salvation, our Father. Let it manifest, oh God, in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. We will not pray for our nation, Nigeria. We are enjoined to pray for our nation. Uh, for our nation. He said we should pray for what? For the good of Jerusalem. Nigeria is our Jerusalem. So, if it's good for Nigeria, 
by extension, it will be good for you and I. So we'll raise a prayer of thanksgiving and intervention for our nation, Nigeria. Let's ask that the vitreous grace of God will manifest and cure our nation, Nigeria, from every vices, every bad leadership, everything that is not in line with how God has originally designed Nigeria to be. Let's ask that God will cure Nigeria from every vice. Let's pray. Let's say, Father, Father, please, O oh Lord, cure Nigeria from every vice. Let the vitreous grace of God, let it be manifest, O oh Lord, in Nigeria. Let it cure our nation from negative vices, O oh Lord. Let it cure our land, O oh Lord, from O oh God's sin, from problems, from bad leadership, O oh Lord, from things, O oh Lord, that do not glorify you. Father, O oh God, everything that is in Nigeria, that is, O oh God, holding us from going forward. Father, please, O oh Lord, let your vitreous grace, O oh Lord, let it cure it, O oh Lord, even for all in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your grace, oh Lord, let us abide in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to plead the blood of Jesus even upon Nigeria, our nation, Nigeria. Let's plead the blood. Father, Lord, we plead the blood upon Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus as, oh Lord, as a church, as individuals, as, oh Lord, family, oh Lord, we've come together, oh Lord, today to plead the blood of, uh, of, of Jesus upon Nigeria in, oh Lord, in the north, in the south, in the west, in the east. Let your blood, oh Lord, cure Nigeria from, oh Lord, unrighteousness, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your blood, oh God, let it make, a, make oh Lord, a distinction for us, even in the committee of nations, our Father. In the name of Jesus, let Nigeria continue to move forward. Let the gate of hell that is, oh Lord, standing against the common good of Nigeria, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. We will now pray for every child in Goshen. We we'll pray that the vitreous grace of God will guide and direct every one of us by extension when we are praying for every child in Goshen, we are praying for ourselves. We are children of Goshen. So let's pray and Goshen. In Goshen, there's abundance. In Goshen, there's prosperity. That's the covenant of God concerning Goshen. So we we'll pray that the covenant of God concerning Goshen will manifest in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray that God we give every child of Goshen wisdom to grow in his, in, his, in his knowledge and understanding in the name of Jesus. Let's say, Father, Father, please bless every child in Goshen. Direct every child in Goshen, Lord. Help every child in Goshen to grow in wisdom. Let us grow in understanding, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Let us grow in status. Let us flourish like the tree planted, O oh Lord, by the riverside, in the name of Jesus. Let no, no child go and wither. In the name of Jesus, we shall not cast anyone, any child in Goshen in his young age in the name of Jesus. Every child that you've given, O oh Lord, to us in Goshen is, O oh Lord, for signs and wonders. And so, Father, this is all that we ask for. This is what we want to manifest in the name of Jesus. Let your victorious work of grace, O oh Lord, let it manifest in the life of every child of Goshen, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. We will now pray for every youth in Goshen, that God will prosper them, that God will give them even good things to do. And as they do it, that the prosperity thereof will come forth in the name of Jesus. Every youth that is believing God for something special, for a life partner, for the desires of, 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 of a good job, that God will do it miraculously in the name of Jesus. So let's just pray for every youth in, in Goshen. Father, we pray for every youth in Goshen, everyone that is believing you for something special. Father, O oh Lord, let your power, the victorious grace of Jesus Christ, let it work, O oh Lord, wonders in the life of the youth in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh God, help them, O oh Lord. Give everyone, O oh God, a job to do. Father, O oh Lord, 
a profitable job to do. Father, do it miracul miraculously in the name of Jesus. Let everyone, every youth, O oh Lord, in Goshen, O oh Lord, be favored in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is believing you for a life partner, Lord. Father, please, O oh Lord, you said none shall lack his mate. Father, O oh God, honor your word concerning them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let their prayer requests be answered speedily in the name of Jesus. In this month of victory on every side, let let every one of them be victorious in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. We are making good progress and then we are getting to the end. Please don't let us get to the end before you remember you have to join the prayer. Let's pray. Let's pray our hearts to him. Let's make this bold declaration to every marriage in Goshen that is experiencing uncommon challenges. We we'll say, Father, we speak destruction to every root of oppression and affliction in the marriages in Goshen in the name of Jesus. We speak destruction to every root of oppression, every root of affliction. Father, O oh Lord, in the marital experiences, O oh Lord, of everyone in Goshen, in the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will arise, our Father, and destroy every root of destruction, every root of oppression. Father, O oh God, let them be gone in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh Lord, arise in your power, arise in your might, arise, O oh God, to destroy every root of oppression and depression. Father, O oh Lord, in the marriage of everyone that is experiencing uncommon challenges in Goshen, in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh Lord, let there be, O oh God, deliverance. Let there be, O oh God, after the deliverance, restoration, in the name of Jesus. Cause the marital journey of everyone in Goshen to be, O oh Lord, heaven on earth, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God and our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. Our next prayer point will be for our leaders. We will pray for God's abundant grace to be released upon our leaders. That they will both yield themselves to be used and directed and led by the power of God. And that they will also do God's will. Prayers. Let's just pray for every leader in Goshen. Every, every leader in the church. Leader in our wider society. Let's ask that God will lead them and they will yield themselves to be led by God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for every leader, O oh Lord, in the church, every leader in Nigeria. Father, O oh Lord, you are the leader of all leaders. You are the one that has all wisdom. Father, please lead them, O oh Lord, aright in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh Lord, give them grace. Grace, O oh Lord, to follow. Grace to do your will in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. We will round up now and then we will... Now pray for our pastors, our ministers, and then let's add our own prayer points. Let's pray for our pastors and our ministers and add our own prayer points. Almighty God, we pray for our pastors, our ministers, our workers, the congregation, everyone, O oh Lord, Father, O oh Lord, that is connected to you, particularly in Goshen. It is a month of victory on every side. Father, please, O oh Lord, cause every one of us to experience victory, victory in our endeavors, our Father, Victory, O oh Lord, in the works of our hand. Victory in our academics. Victory, O oh God, in our family life. Victory, O oh Lord, in our secular life. Victory, O oh Lord, on every side, just according to the prophetic theme, our Father. In the name of Jesus, give us victory. Let your victory manifest, O oh Lord. We want to operate, O oh Lord, in the same victory that Jesus Christ won for us. Father, O oh Lord, cause it to manifest in our lives, our Father. In the name of Jesus, our Father, O oh Lord, for, the, for our individual prayer points, O oh Lord, we ask, O oh God, that as you have heard us, Father, O oh God, do it. And Father, let the answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies for every one of us that have come to pray tonight. And even those, O oh Lord, who we have prayed for, and those that are connected to us in one way or the other. Father, let your victory let it, O oh Lord, go round in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God and our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We can't thank you enough, but Father, with a deep heart of appreciation, we have come to say thank you again and again tonight for the privilege you give to us to be gathered together to your name. 
Thank you for the grace you've given unto us to, O oh Lord, pray. Thank you because, O oh Lord, we know you have heard us. And Father, we are convinced that the answers are upon us. Father, O oh God, let the manifestation, O oh Lord, spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. Give us testimonies, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Particularly in this month of victory on every side. Cause every one of us to, O oh Lord, be victorious in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our God. Be that exalted. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Praise God. Let's clap our hands again to God. Let's clap our hands to the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the almighty God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we've given thanks. Amen. So we will take our offering now. Choir, please can you help us? So we, we give our offering with excitement, with joy. God loves, God loves what? Chef will give us. So let's not just give our substance. Those who are giving substance, give your substance. But beyond the substance, give it dance. Whether you have something or not, it's not what this is for. It's to give God your offering. So the offering is not limited to your substance. Praise God. Choir, please help us. sacrifice, our substance, and our dance, and our praise unto you. Please accept us and accept our offering in the name of Jesus. Bless us mightily in return in the name of Jesus. Give us victory on every side. And as we go, Father, please go with us in the name of Jesus. Give us testimonies that will gladden our hearts 
and that we will go show your glory, show kiss also, Lord, to your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our God and our Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Quick announcement. Uh, our prayer as you go continues tomorrow from 6 to 6.30 a.m. And the uh, connecting platform is through the free conference call. For those who have been joining, please continue. And those who have not joined, please use this platform to join. And as we do, God will bless us mightily in the name of Jesus. And on Sunday, we have our two services, the sunrise service and the uh, sunshine service at 7 and at 9 a.m. Please make it a date with God and don't come alone. Invite others. And as we do, God will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Let's rise up for the benediction. The grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Goshen. Go shine. Shalom.